Here's a question. Harley, what do you recommend for hydration, along with water, of course, for, say, doing lots of Bikram yoga with intense sweating other than coconut water? Thanks. Well, my reply to that one is don't do Bikram yoga. What's, what's, my, what's my deal with Bikram yoga? I've done it before. Yes, I have, because I like to try things to get my personal experience, especially things that aren't going to kill you. And Bikram yoga, I must admit, I've been there, done that. Don't recommend it. Why? Well, firstly, you're in air conditioning. You're breathing in everyone else's farts. You're breathing in all the carpet fumes and the carpet dry cleaning fumes and everyone's perfume fumes and the plastic yoga mat fumes and everyone's detox. You're breathing in everyone's detox for one hour in a hot, sweaty, stinky room. And if it's not stinky, it's stinky with chemical perfume stinky, if you know what I mean. So my, I'm not a fan of Bikram at all. I'm a big fan of yoga. Big fan of yoga. That's one of the reasons why I eat this way, is vegan way, high carb, low fat way, is that my yoga asanas are a lot better. It's just feel more flexible. You your little stomach slider. Wake up in the morning, do a bit of yoga. At night time, do a bit of yoga when I'm in bed, laying out, stretching out. 12 hours of shavasana pose a day. So I'm a fan of yoga. Let's get that clear. Bikram, just not a fan. But let's just say I was locked in a prison and I had to do Bikram every day. That was part of my sentence. Well, I'd just drink water, you know, I'd, I'd do the big room in the morning and, and drink a litre before I went in there, drink a litre while I'm in there, and drink a litre when I get out of there. I'm just personally not a fan of Bikram because it's just so stuffy and air conditioned and processed. Fad yoga, I call it fad yoga. I call it farting yoga. I call it how many cubic litres of fart gas can you breathe in per hour yoga. Carpet fume yoga, air conditioned yoga, smell my sweaty ball sack yoga. I'm bending over giving you a silent and deadly fart yoga. Let's see who can get most dehydrated yoga. Let's see who can tolerate the most heat yoga. Let's see who can burn out the fastest by coming to class the longest yoga. Let's see how far we can stretch yoga. It, you know what I mean? It just becomes this competition. Who can turn up the class the most? Who can stretch the most? I'm into competition by all means, but not at the expense of overtraining, not at the expense of health. I'm into competition in the, the benefit of health, in the guidance of nurturing the body. But yoga, hot yoga, that ain't got, that ain't nurture, man. That's like stress. That's like, I see people burning out in that stuff full on, and I, I just don't think it, it's natural. If you want to do hot yoga, do yoga in the sun. Get outside and do yoga. Move to a, a city or a country where it's warm, naturally. That you don't have to be in some stuffy room breathing in everyone's farts for one hour and, and paying money for that. I mean, I mean, for me, activity should be free. You shouldn't have to pay f to do an activity like a marathon. You, know, you don't have to pay to do a marathon. You can just rock up and run. If you want to get your little medal and stuff, you have to pay. It's fair enough. But you can just rock up and run. I'm not a fan of these things where they commodify an ancient art like that, it's especially when you know all the poses, <laughs> you know, you know, you, you just, I don't know what people are paying for, I mean, I've got friends that go there to pick up chicks and stuff, and yeah, that's cool, but, so I'm not a fan of Bikram, because I'm allergic to breathing other people's farts, I'm allergic to breathing other people's detox, I'm allergic to breathing in the carpet fumes, and all the perfume, and just the air conditioning, again, and the recycled air conditioning, I'm just, I'm over that, I'm into yoga, I'm into fresh air yoga, open doors, tropical warmth, loving the body, nurturing the body. Not a fan of the Bikram yoga. Bikram yoga is just going to dehydrate you. You're going to be storing more toxins, store more cellulite, store more fluid eventually in the long run because it's going to burn you out because it's just so stressful. It's just like, I mean, it's not good, man. It's, it's too hardcore. Maybe if you do Bikram once a month, but even then, just do it in the sun outside instead of breathing in everyone's fart. I don't know why people want to do yoga and be breathing in everyone's detox. It's like doing a fast and having 40 people in your bedroom while you're fasting <laughs> so no thanks so that's just my opinion on Bikram I, I applaud people for getting out there and doing yoga I applaud people for getting out there and moving their bodies fantastic double thumbs up for that let's just do it better let's just do it better alright thanks for watching